Good morning, it is Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up here in about three minutes. I'm gonna watch DCIX out of the opening gates, so I will keep you updated. All right, gonna first start off, see if I can get a pullback down to the 25, 25 area here for my initial entry point on DCIX. Markets just opened up. Let me make this a little bit bigger but it's looking like it's gonna go on without me. So there it goes. This thing is headed up to, I was gonna say this thing's headed up to 28, but there it is already at 28. So let's do 27, 25 here. See if I can get those, so I got that. Like I said, that is just my initial entry point. See if I can pick some up at 25 down there. This one is a very, very quick mover. In fact, let's see if I can get some at 26, 25. So let's let this play out here a little bit. Okay, I got those. Looking like I'll be able to get some more down there at 24 and then 23.75 if I can get those. So right now I have 1,500 shares valued at 26.17. Okay, have 25.25 now. So let me put some orders up there. Again, just 2,500 shares on a sub $25 stock, so by no means is that a, a huge position especially on a very fast mover such as this. So have some orders out there at 2550, 25.65, and 25.75. So let's see if we can get a bounce up to that area of the chart. Okay, I got a few of the 2550s. See if it can push through 2550 or not. It was trying, trying, couldn't quite do it. Give it some more time here to try to push up through that level. So at this point, we have ourselves somewhat of a waiting game here, pulled back a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for the time being, and if it looks like it gets back up there again, then I will get the, the video rolling again. Well, there it's moving that fast, so we'll keep it rolling. Again, 25.25 is that key, or excuse me, 25.50 is that break that I'm looking for. So let's see if it can get up there or not and break through. With the speed at with 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 the speed at which this moves, I know as soon as I pause it, it'll probably all right, I am gonna pause it at this point. All right, it's making another move up. 
I have an order out. I put one at 25, 35 now just to see if I could get some of those off the position. But yeah, this mid 25 area is being pretty stubborn right now. Okay, I got those at 25, 35 out. Got those at 25, all right. So now I have 500 left and I'm gonna take care of those. So there we are, a thousand dollar trade in five minutes. So I'm happy with that. We'll look for a potential re-entry point here. And why didn't I use a stop loss? Well, with the, 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 the range on this thing, it's just so volatile that a stop loss, the slippage can be crazy. Uh, and slippage is just basically, let's say I want out at 25. With slippage, I could very easily on something like this get out at 24.50 and lose 50 cents. So that's why I didn't try to follow it up with a stop loss. I'd, I'd rather be in total control of you know what I was going to be getting uh, rather than you know depending on a stop loss, which again due to the spreads can just be crazy. So um, because that would be a very valid point on your part as a viewer. Hey, why don't you just use a stop loss for those last 500 shares or a thousand slippage? That would be my answer. So let's see if this pulls back, and I'll see if I can get some more. But yeah, I will not complain about a thousand dollars in five minutes. Oh, and I can already see it right now. Clay, you were down so much more than a thousand. Please go back. And in fact, maybe I'll link the video down below about realized gains versus unrealized. That loss you see was not realized. I only had 2,500 shares. Had it pulled back some more, I mean, I was ready to, to buy into these moving averages down here, the 200 period and the 50 period, but it never even got down there. So 2,500 shares was just uh, the uh, the beginning of what I, I got. I, I did the bounce, so I took advantage of the bounce here, but had it pulled back some more, I would have been willing to get uh, quite a few more than 2,500 shares. Again, this is not like it was a you know a $150 stock and I have 2,500 shares. You know, we're talking a sub $25 stock. So again, because I can already see it right now and it always, it always makes me chuckle. It's like, all right, here we go. Somebody lecturing me on on all that one. They don't even really understand the strategy, let alone realize there's unrealized gain. So yes, I'm well aware that uh, the P&L showed losses, but they they weren't real. They are those are not real. They're arbitrary numbers because I was willing to buy even more uh, stock. I just didn't get that opportunity uh, because again, as you saw, it never even pulled back to these moving averages. But um, so I want to kind of nip that in the bud because I can already see it popping up. Yes, I realize that. Yes, I got the strategy. All right, I you know, but within the context of the strategy, you can't pay attention to numbers like that because you know you're easing into the position. And you know, thinking about it with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I'm pretty sure the past three or four videos have all been over 10 minutes, so I'm going to keep this one on the shorter side. Captured a trade, uh, which was a was a very good trade. I was happy with it. So I'm just going to wrap things up here. If you did enjoy the video and you want me to keep making these live trade videos, then easiest way to communicate that to me is click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, that is, like I said, a very, very efficient way to communicate that fact to me. And as long as I know that there's interest out there for these live trade videos, I will keep making them. And again, just click that like button, easiest way to communicate that to me. Also, if you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, you can go to claytrader.com. I offer a live trading room there, and that is $99 per year, not per month, like the ripoff, just per year, 100 bucks and you get access to my weekly newsletter and then also, like I said, the, the, the chat room. And then finally, if you're interested in learning how to trade with charts and approach things in a logical manner, uh, then you can go to, again, claytrader.com and I offer many online video training courses that revolve around charts. So check those links out, check my site out, claytrader.com. And again, click that like button. I will see you back next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.